You've probably heard of carnivorous plants like Venus flytraps or pitcher plants, and you've definitely heard of aquarium plants like Anubius or Java fern. But what if I told you these two worlds collided to create the most metal aquarium plant of them all? That's right, I'd like to introduce you to an aquarium carpeting plant with a hunger for flesh. This is Utricularia graminifolia. Native to the slow moving streams and wet grasslands across Asia, Utricularia graminifolia at first glance looks like light green underwater grass, but hidden among those blades are hundreds of tiny traps, each one waiting to vacuum in unsuspecting microorganisms to slowly devour them into oblivion. To care for Utricularia graminifolia, or UG for short, there are a few must-haves. This plant has a reputation for being a dream carpet for some aquascapers and a complete headache for others. It's important to know that UG doesn't tolerate shade. It needs strong, consistent lighting. Think medium to high intensity for at least eight hours a day. Too little light and instead of carpeting, it'll just wither away. CO2 also makes a huge difference with UG. While some aquascapers have managed to grow it without, most success stories come from tanks with consistent CO2 injection. It helps the plant establish faster, carpet more evenly, and resist the early melting stage. UG is known as a bladderwort. It has microscopic traps, or bladders, about 0.2 to 1 mm in size, that develop on modified leaves. These bladders sit under negative pressure, meaning they actively pump water out to create a vacuum-like state. Just like the trigger hairs on a Venus flytrap, UG has its own tiny little hairs that, when touched, cause a trap door to snap open and water rushes in, sucking the creature inside. These traps are so small that they can only capture microorganisms, like zooplankton, making them completely safe for your livestock. In the wild, UG is found in nutrient-poor, acidic swamps. That's why it's evolved its carnivorous bladder, to make up for the lack of nutrients around it. In the aquarium, though, you don't need to dump a live culture or worry about feeding it. UG photosynthesizes like any other plant, and there's already enough microscopic life in your tank for the traps to keep busy. If you want that thick, bright carpet you see in aquascapes, you'll need to give it some help. An active soil substrate, steady fertilization through the water column, and CO2 will make UG establish faster and stay healthier long term. Aim for a pH between 6 and 7, and temperatures of 22 to 28 degrees, with soft, slightly acidic water. One of the best things that you can do for UG is introduce it into an already established tank. In a brand new setup, it can struggle to get going, but in a mature system with stable chemistry and a balanced microbiome, it has the best possible start. A couple of common mistakes with UG. First, people give up way too early if it melts after planting. Don't. This plant often needs a second chance before it takes off. Another mistake is also giving it not enough light, which makes it grow tall and leggy instead of carpeting properly. And finally, trimming without a siphon. These little bits float around everywhere and will start taking root in places you definitely did not plan for. So, pro tip, run a siphon while you trim to catch all those floaters, and keep up with regular trims to maintain a low, dense carpet that looks intentional instead of wild. You may be in agreement of how super cool this brutal and beautiful plant is, but I'm not finished just yet, because there's something even more fantastic about it that most people don't realise. This plant doesn't just grow underwater. It can also grow immersed, and when it does, it produces these tiny, delicate little flowers. The same plant that carpets your aquarium can also bloom underwater and above the waterline, with the submerged flower looking slightly different to its dry counterpart. This is pretty spectacular, especially for something that spends its time looking like an innocent, cute little grass. UG is definitely one of the most interesting aquarium plants there are. It's part carnivore, part aquascaping dream. If you want to try it for yourself, I've put a link in the description where you can pick some up. And if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to follow along. We're going to explore different beginner to advanced fish and plant profiles each week, so you can choose your favourites, keep them thriving, and become an absolute fish nerd. If you've got any plants or fish that you would like me to cover next, drop it in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.